the people that have picked up what I've put down for them from a coaching perspective have done incredibly, incredibly well this year when it comes to not only growing the personal brand, but actually genuinely monetizing it and making money out of their expertise. And I mean, really, that at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. And I don't care what industry you're in. I don't care who you're serving. I don't care what products you're selling or what services you're offering. All of that is completely and utterly irrelevant. Nine times out of 10, the people that would do really well in building a business based around their expertise, or as I call it, the business of you, are the people who actually realize the uniqueness that they bring to the party. And I think that's the big thing right there. You could have somebody who's got, ex- you get two people that have exactly the same experience in the exact same industry. However, one of them is thinking that, man, this is great. People want what I've got and they're willing to invest in it in order to springboard their own careers and their own growth. And the other one's saying, well, I'll just stick to what I'm doing. I'm comfortable enough. The, you know, the, the former is going to do much, much better. So I, I think building a personal brand in today's world is absolutely a requirement for the entrepreneur, regardless of what type of business you're, you're building, because it's also just known as your reputation. And I think that's becoming more important as well. The two things that I see online more than anything else is exactly what you've described. Big following, um, you know, seem to be this ridiculous success personal brand wise, right? Like thousands of likes on their photos on Instagram and, 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 you know, lots and lots and lots of subscribers on their YouTube channel and hundreds of comments each week when they post their new video and all that kind of stuff, but they don't have any money. They've got nothing yeah. to sell. I mean, they're a commodity, but they're not monetizing that commodity. Right. So that that's, that's just a management problem that can, almost always pretty much be fixed quite quickly in my mind. Anyway, like give me somebody with that kind of following, I'm going to make them money in a year, no doubt in my mind about it. Whereas the other thing that I see a lot of, and I know you do too, is, you know, people say, oh, you know, learn how to build a seven figure business with me. My business has made seven figures three years in a row. But then when you dig deeper, you realize that that person to bring in a million dollars in revenue is spending 900 in Facebook ads. Like that is not a good business. That is not a sustainable, growable business. That is a disaster waiting to happen. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they're the two big extremes there. And I think that if you're, if you're the former rather than the latter, then you're in a much better position. Mm -hmm. If I, if, if I post video on YouTube, which I will, I'll embed that video on my website. And when I email my list, when I mention that on social platforms, that link will not take people to YouTube. No. That link will take people to my website where they can watch that video. I don't care about growing a big YouTube channel, but I do care about the size and the quality of my email list. So I think you've just got to, you've got to be very acutely aware of where the really, really important things are. 